Follow these five tricks to get rich quick. No, sorry, this isn't that kind of new world video. I'm Shellen Cotton, and I'm here with the gamer to go over five ways to reliably make money in new world. If you've been playing new world for any period of time, then you know that there are no NPC merchants to offload your loot. Sure, you can salvage items, but you won't be making much gold going one piece at a time. There are a lot of sources out there for quick, best, and easy money-making schemes in New World. But the unfortunate truth is that with each new update the game receives, many of these get-rich-quick schemes evaporate into irrelevancy before you can even think about posting it to Reddit. So instead, let's focus on a few of the most reliable means of making money in New World. It's not nearly as exciting as cornering the market on some more obscure item, but in reality following along with New World's story progression and completing its main and side quests is a steady way to make gold. You can also complete town projects and faction missions towards the same goal, and both of these have the potential to renew infinitely. Plus, as you complete town projects, you'll level up your settlement, potentially improving the crafting stations therein. This gives you the ability to craft higher skill items. While farming mobs might always be a reliable means of earning gold, it might not necessarily be the most reliable source, if you can catch my drift. At least not until you've reached late game. Mobs only have a random chance to drop gold or loot upon dying, and what they do drop is largely up to RNG. Later on, you can find better loot from elite chests, and this method becomes a little bit more viable. Plus, the monsters in expedition areas have an even higher chance of dropping gold and other loot. Devoting your life to herbalism in a fantasy MMORPG sounds pretty relaxing, right? Well, if you can withstand the tedium of left-clicking herb nodes and legging your way around the same loops of Aeternum, becoming an herbalist can actually make you some bank. Hisop itself will always be in demand, though its value might fluctuate depending on your server. It's used to make Alkahest a core component to a fair few potions. As an added bonus, herbs have a chance to drop certain plants in different regions. These can be a pain for players to get on their own and often do well at the trading post for that reason. I'd recommend doing loops for herbs in Everfall especially, where you can harvest garlic or basil, two herbs that can only be found in one other territory besides Everfall. In general, always check your trading post listings first to see what's selling best before you choose a territory to set out in. You also can't go wrong with farming bulrush cob and briar buds around bodies of water. These items are essential for infused health and mana potions, so they tend to stay in demand. To get your bag, sometimes you gotta craft some bags. The constant circle of balancing encumbrance with gathering the max amount of raw materials creates a dire need for bags and satchels in New World. Satchels can be crafted at the outfitting station to improve your encumbrance. You will need a rune of holding in order to craft one, and these can only be purchased at your faction's armory. Just one minor rune of holding will cost you a thousand faction tokens, and that's on top of the gold price. It might sound like a headache, because it kinda is, but because runes of holding take some effort to attain, they themselves can go for a lot at the trading post. Just be sure to check the prices first, because otherwise you might end up breaking even or not at all. Plus, grinding faction missions has the added benefit of getting you some extra coin, killing two birds with one stone. While Update 1.1 might have linked trading posts together, heralding the end of the stonk market as we know it, it did bring a change with it that created a new demand for an old resource. Moats. Now that tuning orbs require less corrupted lodestone and its other lesser corrupted counterparts, more people are crafting orbs to embark on expeditions. Tuning orbs still require different cores and hearts in order to craft them, however, and to do that, you need a butt-ton of moats. Farming magical plants and stones to collect moats is an easy way to make some good money. Just like with herbs, be sure to check your trading post first to see what moats are currently doing the best. Then run some loops in areas rich with those plants or stone nodes and put a huge stack up on the market for a little less than the current lowest price. The good news is that moats are used in more than just tuning orb crafting, so even if another update rolls around and diminishes its value, moats will always be in demand on the trading post market. For more tips and guides on New World, you can check out thegamer.com.